What's up Transformers fans? This is Stan Stewart. Oh my god, it's been ages since I've done a Transformers video. But in this one today, this is the biggest, biggest news of all. And this is why I've come back to do a Transformers video. So, last night, obviously, the, the biggest announcement happened for the next big Transformers film. Now, we know for a while there was a little discussions of this um, next Transformers film. No, because obviously they were saying, uh, oh, is Bumby 2 the next one? Or is the the full one Transformers with all your ca wobble carriages together? Was that the next one? But now, obviously from this one, it, this is the next one. And also they revealed a lot of stuff, which like the title, which I'll get to in a bit. The, you could sort of say plot, like they did, and, and also characters. So, first off, obviously from the name and the title, we have found out that the next Transformers film... Is called Transformers Wise of the Beasts. And wow, this, I, I really like the title of this. I mean, pretty good of a title. I mean, the title, this makes sense of because of the film, what is going to go down in this. And also as well, last night as well, they did reveal the logo of the film. And I pretty like the logo. I like how, how it's done, you know. So you got the, you got like the silver color. Well, like a light and then a dark then in the middle of the logo, like where the O would have been for Transformers, it's replaced with the Autobot logo. And then for the Y's of the Beast, it's changed it to like this darky yellowy colour. Sort of like Bumby's kind of colour, you know, from Michael Bay's version of Bumblebee. Well, and sort of you could say for the Bumblebee movie, but it was a bit lighter. But you get what I'm on about, so it was that. With the logo as well, um, you got like uh, also from the Transformers the, on the Transformers word and the Autobot logo. The outline, bits of the outline, is with that color as well with the yellow, and looks pretty good. I actually like the idea of the title, which which I would get into the um, why I liked about the title, and obviously it makes sense. Obviously, what's going on? So all this came out la uh, like I said, all this came out last night. All the whole big info about it. Obviously, there was bits before and all that, but. But obviously, they've given us a bit more now. Um, now, the one thing as well, the, uh, the worst one, uh, one thing that came out days ago before this, we know there were some set photos of Optimus' vehicle in the obviously making an appearance on set. Not really much to go on there, it's just um, obviously it was covered in blankets, so you can't really see it, but you could make out what it's going to be, and it looks like them keeping it what they did with Bumblebee. A G1, obviously, where, obviously a G1 look of Optimus Prime, because if you could make it from the picture, which the link, the pictures will be down in the down in the description below, so you can jump to the site to have a look at them. You could tell it's like um, that kind of truck like Optimus had in the um, Bumblebee film, and also what he always had in the G One cartoon. So I thought through that one out in before we start, but now we get into the story that, to the stuff then. So I'm going to go on to the plot first. Now they didn't really give us a actual. Plot detail, like a full on big sentence. Well, you know, like a it's kind of like a sentence you always get when they tell you bits of the plot and all that. Not spoilery ways, obviously. But all we can get from what they were talking about is the. Um, it says that this story continues, obviously from the Bumblebee movie. So, one, it tells you it's in the Bumblebee universe, and it says that the film, the Transformers new film, is going to be set in nineteen ninety four. So we're talking about, so the film takes place seven years after the Born B event. So obviously, this is going to be interesting then. So it'd be interesting to see what Optimus and Born B and those all the ones that came in the end, you know, see what they've been doing for seven years before, obviously before this film. Obviously, I'd say they might have been in disguise, obviously, and then watching humans, you know, in the shadows and, you know, and also get to learn what, what the planet Earth is like. Also as well, which obviously makes sense of the title. You will have these two factions in it, the Maximals and the Predacons. Yes, they are bringing them into live action. Hallelujah. I have always said to myself, it would be cool to see these two factions, these two groups into live action and them actually doing that. But this gets better. This gets better. We're not just getting four factions. We're getting five factions. And the other faction are the Terracons. Now the Terracons are like another evil group. Obviously they, they like fought like this similar group like Decenticons, like all that kind of thing. But the Terracons like 
if I had to recall, like, the Terracons, let me see if I can get recall what was the difference with the, obviously, the other groups. I think the Terracons were, like, also had the ability they could turn into animals. I might be wrong here, but this is why I'm getting the picture now. Here we go, Terracons. Ah, okay, I was right. The Terracons had the ability to turn into creatures, but not like the Predacons, like where the Predacons turn into dinosaurs and maybe some little, some kind of other creatures, you know. But these ones here, the Terracons, I recall now, yes, they turn into like these wind, obviously different type of creatures, like a two-headed dragon and, well, that's what I'm trying to get from the picture here, like, yeah, a two-headed dragon and some kind of weirdy creatures and like a birdie creature. And oh, that's, that's what I could recall as well. I remember that the Terracons could combine into a, um, into Abominus. I think that's how you say his name. Yeah. So, ooh. So I wonder if they'll keep that. Like maybe the, who are, you know, these Terracons who are in the film can combine. Well, I mean, that would be a shock if they, if they do a combiner for these guys, but we don't know yet. But they give out the, um, Obviously, that's the... Um, so, you can make it. That's what the plot's going to be about. So, it's going to be about the five factions. Obviously, there's going to be a battle going on. Now, they do say about... They do say that the Terracons are the main villains. So, your Decepticons and Predacons, you're mocking them as, like, side villains. But I thought that the Predacons would be the would be the main villains because it is called Wise of the Beast. So, I thought, oh, your big main characters are going to be the Maxwells and Predacons and your other three factions are, like... Yeah, the Autobots and Decepticons do have a big role, but they're not, like, the main focus of the story. Or, like, yes, they're part of the story, but it's mainly more focused on Maximals and Predacons, but... I don't know, I mean, as long... If they... If they obviously, they've they've sorted this through out, like, what the story's gonna go like and all that. As long as they've done this right, you know, to give the Maximals and Predacons a good screaming time, which I'm hoping they do, then that's fine. Now, that's that. Now, let's get into characters. Now, let's just get into, before I get into the Wild Boy characters, let's just get into the main characters. Now, I know I heard there was these, uh, we got these two people who are in the film. I I, I really can't say because I'll dodge their names. But uh, I, well, I could try one of them. Like, I think it's Domikig um, Fishback. Uh, like I said, I am really terrible at saying people's names. That's the, um, I'm pretty sure that's the female actress. If, wait, like Dominic, uh, hang on, oh, God's sake. Oh, I would have to see if I can get this up, uh, get the um, thing. I should have got this up, but, hey, it doesn't take ages to get these in, these bits up. Um, now, I'm sure that one's a, yes, this is the actress. Now, her description of a character, now, her character's name is, um, oh, I'll have to spell it now. It spells with a E L E A N, and her character, her, Description says about that a researcher of artifacts works at museum. Boss keeps stealing her, well, her I, well, her funda. Oh, I think that oh, okay. So it's like takes her credit. So it's like um, so she works at the museum. Obviously, she deals with artifacts, and I'd say like whenever she finds, and then the boss just steals that. Like oh, I found it. I found it. It was all me. It was all me. So it's like a, he takes the credit and she doesn't. So that's interesting. Now, our other, cat, our other actor, now this is a male actor, um, I'm going to have to say his name in alphabetically. So it's A N T H O N Y, and his last name is uh, R A M O S. Oh, and don't worry about that. I'll, obviously, I'll have him down the description so you can know, like, oh, okay, that's what he's saying. And his character's name is Nov, is spelled with N O A H. And his character description says, like, father figure to brother, ex military. Trying to find his way, good with mechanics. Yeah, if I think he said it right. Trying to get by. Um, he was a Beast Wars god. Hang on, I don't know what that bit's saying now because he's saying here about a trying to get by. Uh, I mean, not that bit. Saying about he was a Beast Wars guy. Name drop characters. Oh, I think that's just a. But okay, so so that's obviously that's his character. So he was a he's a father figure to a bro to his brother. Obviously, he was in the military. And uh, he says he's good with mechanics, so, mm, okay. Or is it electrics? Uh, well, obviously, I'll have the description info down the description as well as you can read. Or, or obviously, just jump to the side. It depends uh, which way I'll put it. But, okay, so that's interesting about these two. So, that's interesting to hear about who these two are. Now, I know there's another, uh, another person in it, but, uh, oh, okay. 
that's new now. So they said this actress whose name is uh, oh, I'll spell her name out. It's L A U U R E N. Then her last name is a V E L uh, E Z. Now she's playing the woman's character's mother, but they don't give her her name. So okay, so I don't know if that's true then, but according to it, it sounds like that she's playing her mother. So that's interesting. Now let's move on to the Wobbot characters. So who have we got? What Wobbot characters do we have? Well, here we go. This is what I'm about to tell you. Let's start off with the other bots. So our main one, obviously, is Optimus Prime. Makes sense. He made the payments on Earth and he had a bumby. Now, obviously, they said in the info, it says that, um, that obviously he's the lead character. This is what they're saying here. And his odd mode is an upgraded version of the G1 look, obviously from the Bumby movie. Like, as it says here, it's like Think B movie Earth mode with a grey torus, grey windshield flaps and grey under solar parts of the lens into the smoke parts. Okay. Well, obviously, the uh, that's what he's saying here. Now, this bit, he says about the actor who play who does the voice of him, Peter Cabari. I'm sorry if I dodged his last name. He's coming back to voice the character again. Uh, but he also gives it here saying about this will show how Optimus became oh, becomes the leader uh, he was in the Bay movies. Why and why does he have connections to Earth, Earth humans? Um, I don't know about the Bay bit because I'm pretty because obviously this just has to be a, a continue in the Bumby universe. So maybe uh, maybe he's trying to say like um, how he get how does he act like what he is in the Bay universe uh, movies. So there's that. Bumblebee's back. Um, they say he's in a, a classic Camaro, but this time he's uh, with off-world equipment, off-world stuff. So you can imagine, like, as I've heard, so he's going to have, like, big tires. Um, obviously, he'll have some stuff to, obviously, to, obviously to uh, that fits with the off-world kind of element. So that's going to be interesting to see a Bumblebee having to look like that. Obviously, they don't give out the if he's going to have his voice back or he's going to be still the way you'll talk thing. They don't say. A lot of character we're going to have is Mirage. I'm, so, I'm sorry if I say his name right. M-I-R-A-G-E. Um, the version of the character we had in the Michael Bay's version, obviously, had his name changed to Dino. But, obviously, this is not the same character. Obviously, well, I mean, this is not going to be the same version as that one because it's not in the Bay universe one this film is set in. According to his vehicle, he's going to have a silver and blue Polaris uh, 911 kind of vehicle. Now, his, his is the interesting one for him. He says his characterization, if I, I think I dodged the word, is similar to, obviously, Age of Extinction's Crosshairs. So, okay, so he's going to be, it sounds like he'll be sort of similar to how Crosshairs act, uh, I mean, how he acts in the films. You know, if you would, obviously, if you recall how he acts, obviously, I know how he, how he acts. He's like a... Uh, well, obviously, you know how he acts like it's like a... Uh, oh, I don't know the words for it, but you know what I mean. Obviously, you, if you've seen the films with him in it. And he also says the um, he can transform into multiple types of vehicles. So, in other words, like miniature... So, he can turn into different vehicles. So, that's interesting. Uh, and obviously, um, apparently, there's a one info I heard apparently that um, he's friendly to humans. Like, oh, he likes humans and all that. I mean... I want to show all the Autobots like humans, but I think he's, like, fascinating with humans. I think that's what they're trying to say. Like, this character's going to be, like, fascinating with them. But the one about him transforming to different vehicles, so he's, so in the way, so he's going to be a triple changer, so which, that's going to be interesting. But obviously when he says multiple types of vehicles, that kind of sounds like there's more than two then. So who knows, maybe he has, like, ten vehicles or, well, maybe not ten, but maybe, like, Let's give it the top like maybe four vehicles, five vehicles. I don't know, but that'd be interesting. Next one on the line is RC. Now her one one mode is close to G one, so sort of the same what we got in the Bombi movie. But this one, this is what got me. So in the film, she'll turn into a motorcycle. Now um, that got me because I thought when we saw her in the B movie, her design look it looked like she could transform to a car. So. I don't know how they're going to do that because, I mean, because the one thing that's got me is like, well, a, a, a motorcycle is like, a, yeah, it's sort of like the height, maybe nearly close to a car, but obviously the size is not the same size of a car. So I'm like, oh, that's going to be interesting. So is she going to change size? But 
obviously, like, from the G1, because they always, he always did look weird, like, with Megatron, it's like, wait, how does he turn into an actual size gun, like, turns himself small? But I learned, like, later on, like, apparently some had the ability to change size, depends on the form they've got, so maybe that's what she'll gain, that ability to change her size. Cory to her she have a red with rose, pink, and white highlights. Uh, and they say here she'll have a classy head, so she'll have a G1 classy head. Uh, but also, but like a, uh, but also it says the she'll have a waiting number on leg, so she's gonna have a waiting number on it. Now that's for the other bots. Now for the Terracons. Now, but the one I will bring up, it does sound like that this character joins the Terracons, but but so far they only give you two. And our first one, who would be the main villain, who's the leader of the Terracons, is Scourge. Now, if you don't recall who Scourge is, Scourge in the G1 was the one of the minions of Galvatron, who, um, obviously, he got, like, Scourge, the tracker, and then he had his huntsmen he did, like, who was similar to him. But, obviously, this version is going to be different. Now, his um, description they give out is a, uh, he's the leader of the Terracons, he's a trophy hunter, like lockdown, so he's sim so you could. I said to myself, isn't he just like a bounty hunter then? But I don't know, maybe uh, not really in a way if he's if he's a part of a group. But you could say maybe, uh, yes, maybe you could say he's lockdown, but he's not a bounty hunter. But he does what what lockdown would done. And he says here, when he kills, he whips the faction I was sitting here and tattoos them on t in t onto you know, into his body. Okay, so that's interesting. And it says here he's got four smoke stacks on back, all smoking, claw hands with electricity, I think that's what it says, black and grey tone with orange, oh, and orange pops, okay. Um, but it sounds like he'll turn into a, oh, but it sounds here, uh, but probably a truck due to smoke pipes in art. Okay, that's a bit interesting, but... Oh, that's interesting, because I thought he would have a form of a, an animal. You know, Terracons are like a, a group that turn into animals. So are they changing the Terracons that, oh, ter these te these versions of the Terracons, they don't turn into animals, but they have vehicle modes? Maybe that's what, it, uh, that's what it sounds like, but I don't know. Maybe he might be a triple changer, like he can turn into a vehicle and beast mode. I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. But his, his information does sound interesting. When it bit about him... Killing and then he whips the uh, his signatures. I think that's what he says, like the logo of the factions, and then tattoos them onto his body. Wow, that that's gonna be cool to see that in the film. Are we um, we see him when he kills a character, maybe not someone who's ma who's gonna be main into the story, one of your main line characters. Are it's someone like off script, someone like oh he's just in there and then dies. Maybe like a non Transformers character we don't know about. Maybe one of those ones who don't have a name and personality. Maybe it could be one of those all about troops or something like you see him kill them and then take the signature, the logo. That'd be cool to see. Now the other one who I was on about who joins them is Nightbird. Now Nightbird, I, as in G one, Nightbird was a human creation. She was a wobble that was created by the humans. But what happened was, um, I have seen glimpses of the episode. But what happened was, the Decepticons get control of her and she obviously teams up with them. And she she doesn't become artificial intelligence. She doesn't gain a voice or anything. She was just like a something they control. But over the years, I've heard that Nightbird's been like used for different like they changed the character a bit. Now, but for this one, they said uh, it's included as a Nessa GTR. So obviously that's a vehicle. Um, she's also like I say, she's also a Terracon, But I heard there was a bit saying about she doesn't. She's not a Terracon in the first place. I mean, at the start she's not one, but then she joins them. But her description says she's a. She's got a purplish grey in colour. She is a modern verse version of oh modern verse. Well, a modern version of the G one character. It says uh, she'll have a face mask with wobbled looking hood, so similar to that. A sight. A switchy sides, oh switch, oh switch sides. Oh, okay, so that is true then. So it's like I'd say she's with a one faction group, and then she joins them. So okay, so I don't know. Is she like a good guy first, and then she turns into the a villain and joins with them, or or is she like is she with the Decepticons, but then she joins with the Terracons? I don't know yet. They don't really said which side she's on first. But that's really interesting. So that's interesting to see they're bringing that kind of character and. 
bringing that character again, but giving some new detail, obviously changing it, and keeping like a G1 design, so that's pretty cool. And now our other one is the Maximus. Now, for the Maximus, they say, um, they say we're going to have Optimus Primo in it. No details are said in it, but only thing they gave out was they're saying, it seems like he'll have the kind of design look they were got they were going to go with in the the last night because he because originally it seems like they were going to have the character in the film if you've seen the um, content out of that they're saying sort of like that but there'll be some more fur on it so i think you'll have like fur onto him which makes sense because the the maximals obviously when they in their animal forms they had like the actual fur and the actual proper disguise when not like with the metal covered in the skin and all that you didn't see like metal obviously in the uh, animal form which that'd be interesting. But he says, um, he says that obviously he's the leader of the um, Maximals. Obviously, that's the same. Uh, now, I heard the, um, there was a one bit here about uh, apparently that in the film that, that was it. Oh, hang on, I think it says here. Uh, in quite, in stu studies to plot. Oh, no, no, that's something different. Pa what I was going to say was apparently I heard was that in the film, Max, well, Primal is going to, Obviously, give some advice to Otteris or help him, like, to understand, like, what it's like to be a leader. You know, helping Prime, having Optimus Prime to, obviously, teaching him, like, how to be a leader and all that. That's what I heard. It, that's what it's going to be his role in the film when it comes to Optimus. Now, my other Maximus is Wynox. Yes, he's, a, obviously, his friend uh, who turns into a Wino. Um, he's the description says about, um, well, needs no introduction. Also, very Wynox shape. Point. Now, also, Sam, Sam Punk and Wuxi. So, and it sounds like he's going to be like an iron Ironhide-like. So, okay, so he's going to be sort of like Ironhide, but maybe a bit of difference. Uh, and it says about he wants to use his horns. Okay, so we're going to see a lot of times him using the horn. Apparently, it says he looks old, like old metal. Bit of, been have a, oh, here a bit. That bit sounds interesting now. It says about, oh, been here a bit. Uh, it also says for this character, character a Avar, Avor, oh, I heard her name earlier. Uh, her spells with a A-I-R-A-Z-O-R. -R. Now, she was a character from the Beast Wars as well. She turned into like a, a bird type, like an eagle or a, a falcon. That was it, or a falcon. Now, they said that, it, obviously, her, she's got a robotic bird, so... He's a robotic bird, um, a wussy bird mode. Was, wait, wussy? Oh, wussy? Or oh, something like that. Sir Punk, sort of like what they said about what? Uh, why not? Uh, it says, the, um, oh, there we go. This is what it says about the, um, she looks old. And he also says about here, says about being here a bit. And he also says that she's got blue glowing eyes. So, all right. So, for those two, it's saying about they've been here for a bit. So it sounds like they're gonna keep the same content content for the Maximals, you know, like oh they can they were from the past and obviously looks like they've been on Earth for a long time. That bit they don't say about like they don't say like is he gonna be are they gonna be like the actual original Beast Wars kind of characters, like characters from the future who come to the past and obviously fight in the Beast Wars war and the the pre obviously in primeval kind of Earth. They don't really say that. I mean, that's why, I mean, it doesn't sound like, are they going to, are they sticking with that one? Or are they going to go, like, what's happened, kind of like the last couple of years with some of the Beast Wars characters, like, with Pri Primal, like, in that Transformers anime show, like, he seems like he was, obviously, not from the future, and, obviously, he joins up with uh, Wingblade and Megatron, obviously, the face uh, Megatron is. Obviously, in that show, he gained that uh, Optimus, op that Optimus Optipore form, Obviously, the one he gains in the Beast Wars Season 3. Uh, there was that version. Then, obviously, in the Cyberverse, that, that latest cartoon one, uh, we had Cheetor. That, it was sort of like, oh, the, the all-spark credit Cheetor just to guard it. So, I don't know if they change. So, I don't know. If, like I said, I don't know if they're doing that. Like, oh, these characters, they ain't from the future who come back to the past and then they got stuck on Earth. And then, obviously, we meet them up in this timeline. We don't know yet. Now, the other thing they miss out here, now, they do say, obviously, like I said, they do mention, obviously, they said about the Predacons and the Decept... No, they do say about Decepticons as well, that's it. They do say that the Decepticons are in here as well, but they don't give info like who's a member of the Decepticons and who's the member of the Predacons. 
Uh, but I'll give a quick flow out of who they could be like in, in the team. For the Decepticons, I would have a funny feeling we could get like... Uh, let's say there's five members. Let's say there's five members in the group. Let's say uh, Starscream, um, Soundwave, Shockwave. And to follow into a two in, let's say... Um, which I, I did think about it last night. I was like, oh, that'd be cool to see him in live action. Knockout and Breakdown. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have... Obviously, these two, we haven't had a live action version of them. But I love their performance in the Transformers Prime. And I was like, oh, it'd be cool to see them in live action. So bring them in. But if I... Now, I'm, if you're thinking of, wait, but what about Megatron? Why not bring him in finally? You know, so we can know, like, where where's this version of Megatron? Uh, I mean, I, I did originally think about that. Like, oh, maybe we, we can get our first introductions of this universe of Megatron. G1 kind of looking Megatron. The one that we could have gone in Born B, but obviously they didn't, they didn't uh, decide not to put in. I did say about that, but if they say about it, the Terracons and Scourge is the main villain, I'm like, oh, but you just, oh, but then Megatron's just going to be a side villain. Which that would go for the Predacons. Now, for the Predacon line, I'd say, keep what the Predacons, the line you had in the pre, in the um, Beast Wars, maybe from the Season 1 line. Like, you had the Predacon Megatron, you had um, the Terodactyl one, I'm sorry, I'm going to be dodging their names, I think it was Terodactyl or something like that. Um, Waspinator, that'd be cool. We got Waspinator in the show. I mean, in the film. Um, Scorbinock, the Pron, obviously the Predacon version. Um, oh, who else was they? Um, I know later editions they had Black Arachnia and uh, Inferno. And, well, the one they had with them was Dinobot, which I said that I would wonder if we get Dinobot in this. And obviously, Dinobot. Now, I said if Dinobot was in it, I'd be like. When we see him, like, are we going to see him with the Predacons first and then teams then decide to join the Maximals? Or are we going to get, like, a... Um, like he says, because he sounds like they've been on Earth for a long time. Are we going to get, like, yes, um, when he first came to Earth, a primal Earth, he was with the Predacons, but then on day one, he changed sides to the Maximals. And then, obviously, in the obviously the timeline we're going to get in this film, the 1994, when we see the Maximals, all of them in, the old, in their old state and all that, we see him, he's still with them. I don't know, I mean, could play out like that, but I'm just throwing it out there who it could be. Um, like I said about the Megatron, like, like the two Megatrons, I said if they had the two Megatrons in it, I feel like, oh, it's like deja vu that, oh, don't bother, there's going to be side characters again. Well, for G... That's why I said, like, that would not be looking good for a first uh, appearance, like life action appearance of a Predacon Megatron, like, not having him as the main villain, but... I don't know, I mean, they might keep the Megatrons out of this, and who knows, maybe you might say, maybe in the down of the world, they could say, like, if they keep the Max the Maximals and Predacons after the film, like, after the event, they might stick around, and you could say, like, oh, G1 Megatron's in space, which I think I have uh, said before, in maybe in the Transformers very well, and also with the Megatron Predacon, you could say, oh, maybe he's somewhere on the Earth, maybe he's in Stasis Lock, and he didn't get a welcome for this event, and who knows, we might get like an end scene or a cut scene with him waking up. And then it's like, oh, it sets up for him being the main villain of the next film. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just really throwing a lot out there. Now, for all the bots, um, if I had to throw one more in... Um, oh, God. If I had to throw one more character that I could throw in... I would love to say Ratchet, but we've seen him a lot. We've seen him in a lot... Um, Oh, God, um, maybe Will Jack, yeah, maybe, but this time have the proper, because I know in the Michael Bay version, we had him, but did, they changed his name to Q, to Q, if I uh, call that's how you say his name, but that was like, possibly, a, that was supposed to be Will Jack, but they changed the name, which I can't recall why they did that, so, following Will Jack, you know, follow the, to get, let's get the actual one, and let's get the similar design like we got from Bumblebee, because I would love to see him in that. And maybe for the um, Terracons, maybe like the members you got in the Terracons Ter Terra group. Uh, but I'll leave that till maybe down the, line, down the line when they reveal more. Now, I heard they said they'll reveal more of the characters later on. And maybe for the Maximals, following Cheeto and Rat Trap, fold those two in. So then you got like five members of, five members in the Maximals and the... Well, I would love to see, like, each, like, in the film, I would love to see all the factions have five members of the group, but it might not work like that. It could be, like, like a couple of factions have this amount of group, and, like, so on and so on. 
So it could be um, go down like that. Um, if I got any more to say, well, oh, well, the last thing it was only a little thing. The the what they just said was it'll be act. There will be some action in it, which obviously it makes sense. You're gonna have action. Oh, in location as well. Um, they said the locations in the film you have Brooklyn and New York. So I think that's all they've said for now. But I would say with Beast Wars, maybe you might get with the Beast Wars characters, you might get like a jungle setting as well. But that's what they say. So I would say there might be more places they go to in the film, but I don't know yet. We would have to wait and see. So that's all really guys I gotta say. So if you want to read this info all to yourself, that link will be down in the description below. Um leave your comments down below. Like what do you think of all this info? Like once you read it, obviously the info I got up on, on the screen. What do you think of all this info then? Do you like it? Give me your thoughts, like who would you want in the film? Like I've said the characters, I've said my added characters I can add in. Give me yours, like um uh, for example, like um uh, say oh I would like to see G1 Ironhide from the from Bombay movie. Or, you know, something like that. For each factor. If you got like a one character or a couple of characters from each factor, you would what you would like to see them add in. Put them down in the comments below and I would love to see all your uh, you know all your you know um characters you picked. And I would look and I'll see like, oh okay, well, that'd be cool and that'd be cool. I would love to see your obviously your um, kind of ideal characters you want add in the film. So, obviously, leave comments down below and all that. And also, what you think of this whole information. That's the point as well. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Now, share this out to your friends. So, if they want to watch someone different for once, show one of my videos. And if they like it, they can subscribe to this channel. And if you are new to this channel, this is what I do. I mean, I do the um, Transformers and the Marvel Cinematic Universe news. That goes with the um, the trailers, the TV, well, Super Bowl TV spots I managed to go for. Who knows, I said maybe I might try and find some actual TV spots, but maybe like a one or two, but I don't know. Um, clips, like I said, maybe I might just fold just one in and that's it. So I'm not, so I've got something there. Uh, the spoiler reviews, I mainly do it on the film sites. Um, I know when I said when, the, when it came to the Marvel one, I said I did the DC Plus ones, but I said I might just do like a catch-up kind of video. Well, you know, catch-up of what's going on so far with the shows. You know, maybe, after, maybe like from this year's one, maybe I might do a video like... The catch of all, all the shows and the stories so far from those shows. I might do something like that for the Marvel one. But, um, the, like, the spoiler kind of types, like the spoiler trailers, all the spoiler clips, all the TV spots, I avoid those because, obviously, I don't want to know a lot until the thing comes out. And, uh, oh, last but not least, if you've seen the last Transformers video, click here, my channel. Make sure you click the bell. It's going to be notifying when new videos are on. And here to see me last uh, Marvel video. Now, that's all for today. This has gone longer than I hoped for. I was hoping to get just around 20, 20 25 minutes, but, well, with these, obviously, the it becomes longer, but, obviously, in the next ones, hopefully, they'll be shorter, like, around 20 minutes or so, but depends what the story is. But, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thank you for watching, and see you again soon. Peace.